Hi, ich bin Mikey und willkommen zurück zu einer weiteren Folge von Thronebreaker The Witcher Tales. Wir haben uns durch Markham gekämpft, gepolitisiert, haben Geschichten aufgeschnappt, Verbündete gefunden, Freunde gefunden und eventuell auch verloren. Und jetzt stehen wir kurz vor der nächsten Story-Mission, vor unserem Treffen mit dem obersten Anführer der Zwergenclans, Bröber Hook. Der ist nicht gut auf uns zu sprechen, der hat hart keinen Bock auf uns, der ist erzürnt über alles, was wir getan haben. Und zu allem Überfluss wissen wir auch noch, dass äh, ein Zwergenclan die Zellgrenz einen Massenmord begangen haben. Ob wir das jetzt Bruder sagen? Hm. Wir werden sehen, wie wir jetzt tatsächlich mit ihm stehen. Ohne weitere, äh, without further ado, möchte ich sagen. Ja, Abschnittsende. Haben wieder sieben Stunden hier verbracht. Leck mich aber auf dieses Spiel. Na dann, here we go. Bruva stood by the bridge like a statue. Arms crossed, eyes squinting. Meave sighed inside. She stood little chance of having a pleasant chat. Elder in chief, sir. No Saren and Grayson here, lass. Plowed humans. Always out to fix things, always end up cocking them up. Das fängt ja super an. You think you're due glory, do you? Monster slayer Meave? Patroness of dwarves? Blast it. What do you think? Why didn't I exterminate those beasts myself, eh? Go on, tell me. For you. For I didn't want to. For something didn't affect, damn it. So I resolved to not destroy their nests and evidence till I learned the truth of who done it. Postponed it all those years expressly. Though your subjects were dying. Ihr seid doch alle verrückt auf diesen verdammten Felsen oben. I didn't need no lectures from the likes of you. Justice must be served. That's worth any price. And I was close. Had leads. And now it's all gone to hell. You flooded the Vor's abyss. You brought Boros rump down on itself. And I'll never ken who killed the Fuchses. Understand? Never! Yeah. Und da werden wir schon beim Problem. Ich kann sie da nicht mit davon kommen lassen. Ich kann sie da nicht mit davon kommen. Also irgendjemand muss dafür bestraft werden. Vielleicht können wir auf ihn einwirken, dass er nur die Ältesten bestraft. Fangen wir doch mal so an. Aber ich würde ich kann, ich kann es nicht, ich kann es nicht verheimlichen. Man, die haben ihre eigenen Landsleute, haben die eingesperrt und lebendig verbrannt. Alter. I would not be so sure. Sure of bloody what? That you shall never learn the truth. For I learned it just moments ago. It was the Zigrins who killed the Fuchses. The Zigrins? But, oh no. Explain a lot, but ah, the snakes, worms, rogues. Why, I'll show them. All right. Got to admit you've more in that pretty heat of yours than I expected. But dinner, you start thinking we'll be toasting a new friendship. Jesus fucking Christ, Opa. You want our aid? You'll have to answer our questions. My questions. Lots of them. And they're all hard. So dinner, you go smiling at me yet. Yes. Why I wouldn't dare. <laughs> A good kids. Better not. Right. Time we moved on. This woman? Ruva set off at a brisk pace, paying Meave nor anyone else heed. The elders' bodyguards rushed after him, then came the Lyrian force, and at its end trudged Gabor Zigrin, hands and feet in shackles. Tja. Was soll ich tun? Oh fuck, was ist jetzt los? Ich nehme an der Audienz im Carbon Boat teil. Ha. Okay. Was ist hier los? Brief gefunden. Auf der Langbrücke ist folgendes streng verboten. Stampfen, springen, über das Geländer lehnen, Ruhepausen, Runen in das Geländer schnitzen. Huhuha. Okay. Wanted to hunt monsters, eh? Oh, elders furious. Spits flying ten feet. Let humans neath carbon. Didn't you ken if that's wise? Let humans. Yeah. Ich sehe schon, wir werden gute Freunde. 
dwarves demonstrate innovative thinking in many domains. Metallurgy, engineering, architecture. Yet there is one in which they could not be bothered. Naming. For this reason, the bridge that linked the Mahakam Pass with Mount Carbon was simply named Langbridge. Meave learned it was a thoroughly fitting name. Having stopped for a breath halfway across the road suspended over a deep chasm, the Queen could see neither end of the bridge, both concealed by thick clouds. Amazing, whispered the Queen. I feel as though we traverse the very sky. The Queen and her retinue were nearing Mount Carbon when Meave heard a cry. It was Xavier. Hold! Hold! Meave drew in her reins abruptly. Her mare neighed and reared, lifting the queen above her formation of men. From that height, she saw the last pier of the bridge crumbling. The dwarves at the head of the procession were unable to stop in time and plummeted, screaming into the abyss. What's the meaning of this, God damn it? Bruva roared. Face the engineers! No! Alter, was ist mit euren Brücken los? The queen was striving to calm her spooked mount when she sensed something swish past her ear. Out of nowhere, a Scoyatel band had appeared at the rear of the column. Before anyone could react, elven archers had felled the rear guard. The soldiers lay on the bridge's stone surface with arrows in their backs. Meave was trapped. In one direction lay the chasm, in the other, a fierce foe. She had no choice but to stand and fight. Das, was tun denn jetzt Scoyatel hier? Was haben denn die mit uns für Probleme? Die Schlacht bei der Langbrücke. Die Lyrio konnten kaum glauben, als sie sahen, wie die Scoyatel den Mahakama wachen die Kehlen aufschlitzen. Seit wann kämpften Anderlinge gegen Anderlinge? Und wozu? Unterstützten die älteren Völker die Eichhörnchen denn nicht rückhaltlos? Fragen über Fragen und keine Zeit für Antworten, denn es galt zu kämpfen. Story Schlacht für kurze Kampf mit Extrakarten. Okay. Das ist meine Ansage. Junge Spiel, du machst mich so dermaßen fertig. Kannst nicht oft genug sagen. Kannst du gar nicht mehr klicken. So, ein Mahakam Axtkämpfer. Bruver Hook, Zwerg Boss, generiere zwei Mahakam Beschütze und verschiebe eine gegnerische Einheit von der Nahkampf in die Fernkampf rein. Okay, den Felsani raus, den Streuner raus. Xavier raus. So. Rena? Trapped your grace, but we can try and fight our way through. Wer ist Rena? Zwei Schaden zu. Na komm, die kann kaum frei. Think you poor bags can do whatever the devils you please? This is Mahakam! So ist recht. Schön zur Hölle fahren. Special Prize. Just for you, Love. Okay. Dann würde ich jetzt mal. Nein, nicht mit der Arbeitliste, mit meinem. Nicht mit dem Pfad finde. Fuck sake. Oh, ich habe gar keine Pekiniere. Scheiße. Doch, da sind sie doch. Ah. So, dann gibt's hier einmal das Bestbrüffel. Und zack. Und nach hinten und weg. Wundervoll. Show me the coin or sod off. Wieder so ein Schmuggler. Hm. Sod it. Sod it all. Your 
tricks will not save you, Duan. Okay, jetzt wird es allmählich widerlich. So, sehr schön. Feel any burning? See a local healer or white spot. Eine Einheit, eine Einheit, acht Rüstung. Schädigt eine Einheit in einen Bären. Dann kommen wir in den Blitzgarten. Au! Ja, okay, den mussten sie mir nehmen. Let us sing the song of steel. Störe eine bestätigte Einheit. Bestätigte Einheit, ja genau. Äh, dann sorgen wir halt dafür, dass mir beschädigt ist. So einfach. Ja, ich glaube nicht, dass ihr hier groß mithalten könnt, Freunde der Sonne und der Nacht. Und weg. Da noch einmal drüber. Tja. Viel Glück dabei. Skoyatte. Über euch sind wir euch Gott hinaus. Wer? Wer? Wer ist Rena? Their strength combined, the Lyrians and Dwarves managed to defeat the Scoia'tael. The Gorillas had weakened the last span of the bridge, turning the crossing into a deadly trap. Had Xavier, who noticed the weakened structure at the last instant, not called out, all would have fallen into the chasm. The Lyrians managed to capture the unit commander. She stood, her head raised high, and when Meave glared at her, she did not avert her eyes. What is your name, Elf? Das kann nur eine Beleidigung gewesen sein. She said, uh... "Thank you, Reynard. I know well what she said." <lacht> Kiss my ass. Is that truly the best you can muster? <lacht> Sehr gut, Mies. Sehr gut. I'd rather show you exactly what I can muster. Tell them to unbind me. You got your opportunity on the battlefield. Will you not tell me what they call you? Fine. It's all the same to me. I'm more interested to know how you came to be here. Who sent you? No one. It was my decision to kill you and thus avenge Eldane. Ah. Weißt du nicht, du bist ein bisschen arg weit vom Tiro abgekommen, wenn du jetzt schon gegen andere Dinge geht. Nicht mehr auf Partisanen kann man sich heutzutage verlassen. Do you remember him? The elf whom you denied a burial, whom you left in an open field to rot. Yep. Weiß ich. You've elven blood on your hands. The blood of the elves of the Mulderwood. Und wie viel Menschenblut hatten die an den Händen? Entspann dich. Äh, uh, Eldane war ein Verbrecher. Eldane was a criminal. He got what he deserved. Yep. You call him a criminal. What do you call humans who murder our kind in pogroms? Who massacre us? What do you call Black Raylor who fought at your side? Ich glaube, ich habe relativ oft bei Pogrom eingegriffen, habe die verhindert und habe auch diejenigen äh, hingerichten lassen, die die angerichtet haben. Und Rayla habe ich weggeschickt. Do not dare compare us. Do not dare. Ich glaube, äh, ihr checkt einfach nicht mehr, was ihr wollt. Enough. I've heard all I wish to hear. Ich hätte noch nie Respekt vor Skoyatel gehabt. But I have it. Did you fall in your heat, Elf? Eh? If you want to fight humans, go on and do it. You cannot talk sense to Egypts, but nay here, damn it. Mahakam is and will be neutral. You cannot be neutral. To Dwan, you are either their foe or their dog. <sighs> Mahakam has stood aside sleeping long enough. That is why we struck it in its very heart. As a call to battle. A call to brethren whom you, Elder, have kept from the world too long. Du machst dich nicht sonderlich beliebt bei dir. Du bist da definitiv an der falschen Adresse mit der Rede, Sonnenschönchen. I have kept him away. 
have been bloody right to do so. You want to play at war, you numpties? You want to force the Pontar to flow upstream? Gang right ahead! Good riddance, I say! Gang kill, gang die if you fancy! But God damn it, leave us alone! I am I have my bus, though. Yeah, I should kill you. With my own hands. I should cut your throat, put you out of your misery. That's what you want, in it? To die? To die a stupid death? <laughs> well, I'll not grant you that. Nay, nay, I'll lock you in a tower. Sit there three centuries, and you just might grow a brain. <laughs> ah, scheiße. Yeah, they were cool. They check it out, man. Bruva Hoog gazed after the shackled elf as she was led away. Neve expected him to continue fuming, cursing her. But the dwarf stood silent. And his old eyes, half concealed by brows bushy as a forest floor, showed not anger, but the deepest sadness. Dwarven engineers made quick work of repairing the crumbled bridge span. Well, und weiter am Text, nicht Und steht ja ein Gipfeltreffen bevor. Alter, was soll ich erzählen? Wie, wie dumm ist das? So hier wegen Rache gegen... Ich, ich würde interessieren, was der alte LD in der dazu tatsächlich zugesagt hätte. Ob der das gut gehießen hätte, geheißen hätte, dass, dass die hier äh, gegen, gegen andere Anderlinge kämpfen Look, und so die Werte des Goyatel verraten. Damn. I thought Novigrad was big. Ja? Ist der große Bock? Truth be told, I supported the Scoyatella Ford. No, I wish every last one of them dead. Dead? Yeah, that's up to it, Stefan. Long-eared bastards. Raising our own saplings against us in rebellion. Sowing unrest. Violence. In the mountains. Long-eared bastards. So. Cool. Der Carbonberg. Füße abwischen, den Bart hübsch gemacht. Doch trag hier bloß nicht fremd. Ah, es soll ein Gedicht sein, okay. <lacht> Und Gedichtstimme. Der Kaubonberg. Füße abwischen, den Bart hübsch gemacht. Doch trag hier bloß nicht fremde Tracht. Das Herz des Berges hör seinen Schlag. Und sei ein Zwerg, der sich zu benehmen vermag. Hu, hu, ha. Nein, besser kriege ich das nicht hin. Mir wurde gesagt, dass ich eine Erzählstimme habe. Ich frage mich, was mit diesen Leuten nicht stimmt. Aber wir ziehen das jetzt durch. The Lyrians stepped inside Mount Carbon's bowels. Meave rode while looking upwards, admiring the intricately carved ceiling, gilded walls, monumental bas reliefs carved from bust. Yet this was no time to admire the sights. Ruva Hoog had summoned her to speak. I thank you for your invitation, Elder. My invitation? Choice term, lass. You wangled your way in here. Long I've lived, but never have I seen a wench so stubborn. Ich wickle mich gleich in was ganz anderes rein. With all due respect, do you not feel like a pot conversing with a kettle? <laughs> <laughs> True enough. Changes of mind didn't come easy to me, but they do come at times. Human wars concern me not at all. So many they are, who could count them? Yeah, a year goes by without one wanking king invading another's realm. A dog with scabies is less restless. And trotzdem kollaborierst du mit Nilfgaard. That's why this morning I aim to send you off with nothing. Matter not what the clans were saying. Rivia, Schmivia, who gives a sheep's fart? But that was this morn. Before that daft wench and her pups attacked. Uh -huh. Nilfgaard supports the Scoyatel, it's common knowledge. Nilfgaard uses them. Well, I'm nay worse, and I choose to use Queen Meave. Ha <laughs> ha Ja, lass uns, lass uns mal nicht gleich wieder auf den Bart. Lass uns mal nicht gleich direkt wieder bei dem auf den ba Bart drauf latschen. So what use would you make of me, if I might ask? You've a plan? Aye, the kind dwarves like best. Simple, but sneaky. 
like to give Nilfgaard a warning, you can. If you're going to rile my dwarves, throw them into the Scoia'tael ranks. You'll regret it, eh? But I'd like to issue the warning without declaring war. All clear to you so far. Du unterstützt uns nur indirekt. Du gibst uns keine Truppen mit. Das verstehe ich. So, when you march out of Mahakam, you'll find a company of our foot dwarves waiting out with the gate. Officially, volunteers enlisting with you against my will. Ah, du schlauer, schlauer alter Bastard. And you have to put them at the fore next time you face Nilfgaard. Want the black lads to break their teeth on our bucklers, get a taste of our axe blades. After that, dare say they'll think twice before they send more Scoia'tael into these hells. Mm -hmm. I do not. Thank you, Elder. You restore my hope that I shall have my home back in the end. Faith can move mountains, aye, but it cannot do much about borders. I've watched you close, and must admit you're a plucky lass. That enough for Nilfgaard? Gotta be sure. We will see. We shall know soon. Freiwilligenkorps. Marker Mangler. I would like to march at once. So by your leave? Nay, <laughs> not granted. At once? What's that mean? Our laws are clear. Guests are to be sent off with a thundering feast. Even the humans. Wirklich? Es ist echt also. Oh, es ist als ob ich mit einem Schizophrenen reden würde. Gott, die Höhenluft tut euch hier oben echt nicht gut. Bruva, as was Bruva's wont, insisted. So the Queen accepted the invitation, but as was her wont, set a condition. The feast was to last but one night and not, as was the wont of local custom, an entire week. Eine Woche. Alter, kein Mensch kann eine Woche lang durchziehen. All clans were to be represented at the feast, save one, of course, the Zigrins. For they had already learned their punishment. The entire clan was banished from Mahakam. An exception was made for one of their number, for Gabor, who was beheaded before the day was done. Oh. Yeah. Well... Oops. Tut mir schon ein bisschen leid um ihn. Aber... Sollen wir auch mal lieber weiter, bevor ich mich hier in irgendwas reinquatsch. When the sun had retired behind the peaks, the underground city came alive with the sound of bugles, bagpipes and horns. The dwarves emerged out into the central square and danced exuberantly, sparks kicking up from their hobnail boots. The usually crabby elder-in-chief Hoog proved a cordial host that evening. Let's drink! Lest our neck shafts grow cobwebs! <laughs> Suddenly a messenger arrived. Bruver lifted his copper horn to his ear and listened with furrowed brow. What's that? Speak up! When she saw a sour grin on his face, Meave knew the tidings were not good. Yet she did not suspect they pertained to her directly. Meave, you expecting anyone? Nein. How's that? Runner says a delegation's arrived at Carbon, Freluria and Rivia. Got a Nilf Guardian escort. Was? How dare they? Traitors. Who leads it? Uh, you'd best sit. Es ist der Sohnemann, stimmt? Who leads the delegation? Es ist sowas von der Sohnemann. It's your son. Willem, I fear. Bloody fuck! Hey, der kleine Bastard! Willem. Mahakam remains neutral as regards all your squabbles. I trust I needn't remind you. So, uh, no scrambling, no shoving, and certainly no bloodshed. Point of fact, I'd prefer it if you... I wish to speak to him. Mm -hmm. I'd forbid you, but, as I said, never seen a more stubborn wench. All righty then, jabber away with him. Just remember, hands to yourself. Oh, that's what you Neve spotted banners, a Lyrian eagle upon one surrounded by Nilfgaard's black rags. Her hands became fists, showing how helpless she felt. Then her son and rival, Willem, emerged from behind a row of Imperial footmen. My, my. I should apologize. It seems I missed the coronation. 
Congratulations, my son. Who was it who placed the crown? General Epdahi? Ich hoffe, dass er jetzt zumindest so ein bisschen Schuld empfindet. Count Caldwell. Nein, garantiert nicht. Arrogant und kleiner Drecksack. Ah, yes. Our elder statesman. Why have you come here of all places? To acquire arms for Nilfgaard? As my official mission, yes. Yet unofficially, I wish to speak with you. But... I trust you've had tidings from the field. Edern turned to ash and dust. Vizimir murdered Redania in chaos. Faltus forced to strike a pact by his vassals betrayed. Hensult the same. This limerick, will it come to a point? Why, yes. To the same as this war. Mother, I beg you, you must see it. N Nilfgaard's victory is inevitable. Surrender now, and I shall show you mercy. For later... Later, it'll be too late. Junge, was für ein schwanzloser kleiner Bastard. There will be no later. We shall repel them, drive them south at the points of our pikes. This we, mother, who precisely do you mean? You stand alone. Nein, wir verraten ihm nichts. I prefer to stand alone over standing with Nilfgaard, with the invader, as you do. Mother, in declaring for the Empire, I saved the lives of thousands of our subjects. And in so doing, our honor lost. Folk who had their huts burned down care deeply about our honor. Is that truly your belief? When I was crowned, a fact you deride, though that makes it no less true, I swore the good of my subjects would guide me. And a war we are doomed to lose cannot in any way benefit them. And slavery can. You know well the Blacklads put peasants in chains, like cattle. Reprehensible, I agree, but... And resettlement? Forced labor? Cruel laws that make death the punishment for the slightest offenses? Are those benefits? Well, answer me! I see I will not sway you, mother. A shame, though I take comfort in the fact I tried. And now, the Jew. Du bist so ein schanzloser kleiner Bastard. Oh no, I, not you, will decide when this conversation is over. Oh, have we anything else to discuss? Hast du gehört, dass Nilfgaard mich umbringen wollte? Are you perhaps aware that the North Guardians tried to kill me? What? No, I, I, I heard only about an avalanche. Uh, duh, Trottel. Which tumbled down through no small effort of an imperial envoy. Never would I have agreed to such a heinous act. Na, du glaubst doch nicht wirklich, dass die dich fragen, du kleiner Lappen. I believe you. I'm heartened that despite all we. I believe you because I believe the North Guardians wouldn't ever have asked your opinion. Danke. Think on it, son. Are you their ally or their tool? I am the king of Lyria and Rivia. To serve my subjects' best interests, I am prepared to make even the most painful concessions. Du hast gerade nicht wirklich zugehört, oder? Might I leave now? Or is there more? Naturally. How did you know you would find me here? I... I received Nilfgaardian reports to the effect that you've been seen in the past. Oh, roses are red and so are your cheeks, my son. As ever when you're caught in a lie. Lyria is two weeks' travel hence. Had you received word only once I was here, we'd have been long gone from Mahakam by the time you assembled a force and completed the march. Mm -hmm. No. You were forewarned of our intended route. It means I'm a traitor in my ranks. Another one. Mm -hmm. Get out of my sight, then. And pray we only ever face one another on neutral ground. Wäre es nicht gut gewesen zu fragen, Mief? Meave struggled inside not to turn and gaze once more at her son. He changed since they'd last faced each other, grown manlier, and he wore the crown well. Yeah, ja, aber falsch rum. The queen returned to the banquet hall. Her advisers shot her questioning glances, curious what she had discussed with Bruva. But Meave decided to keep the details to herself. One of them wore a Nilfgaardian lead around his neck. Until she knew who, she would have to remain vigilant. Feasting's done, Reynard. We must consider our next move. Oh, I had to ask Meave. I had to ask him, that's had all the easier gemacht. I've thought on it, Your Grace. We've strength enough to hit the foe, but still not the numbers to face him in open battle. Zumindest was nicht Gabor. 
So what do you propose? This war we cannot win alone, nor even with the dwarves at our side. But if we secure a victory, small yet symbolic, we shall show the other realms of the north all is not yet lost. Thus, I propose we attack behind the front lines, somewhere well clear of any major imperial force. Where would you suggest? I'm considering Angren. To begin with, a thickly wooded marshy land, always helpful in clandestine operations. Secondly, the land strategically important, as it's the chief source of building material for Nilfgaard's fleets. All too little, I fear. Since we require a victory that would be symbolic, we must strike where it shall hurt, and Angren... Just recently welcomed a new regent in the person of Count Coldwell, my third argument. Naturally, if your majesty wishes, I'm prepared to present alternatives to this. Coldwell... Right, for you. No need. We march at dawn. Meave had toiled, cajoled, persuaded, and gained the dwarves' support. She left Mahakam strengthened markedly. Even so, the queen was in a foul mood. For it was clear a traitor, a viper, nested among the Lyrians. Someone who had conveyed the queen's plans to her foe. From this moment on, Meave would need to weigh every word she uttered, even in the presence of her closest associates. Your Grace, we must plot our course forward. Shall we take the Western Passage into Angren, or...? Not now. When, then? Dawn approaches, yet we know nothing of where... I will not repeat myself. The Queen knew she would learn the traitor's identity in the end. If need be, she would tear the name from the throat of another turncoat, Count Caldwell. Meave drooled at the prospect of seeing Caldwell in chains, then passing him to the hangman. Saddle the horses. I shall take the fall. The time for diplomacy, for preparations and negotiations had gone. Meave was to attack her foe at last, and she could not wait to do so. Well, jetzt wird's allmählich ernst, Freunde. Gegenschlagszeit. Gascon würde auch noch Sinn machen. Immerhin haben sehr eher seine Banditen von Anfang an für Unruhe in Lyrien gesorgt. At long last, Meave's force reached Angren's marshy woods. Ever been? No? Count yourselves lucky. You certain we haven't lost our way? Alas, here there is no way. We continue south, that's all. South meaning the bottom. Should you ever venture there, I offer you this advice. Do your utmost to make no noise. Poor soul. His comrades cried out, reached out. But alas, amidst frothing waters, they heard bones cracking, the moan of metal bent and crushed. What the bloody hell, what was that? Rather not know, personally. Hold your positions. Arms at the ready. It was a glusty war. One of many the Lyrians would encounter along their path. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. At last, Meave and her force stood upon the Yaruga's bank. To find and punish the traitor Caldwell, they would have to cross the river. Yet the sole bridge nearby was in Nilfgaard's hands. Your Majesty, some new reports require your attention. So, da sind wir also wieder. Ist das? Ja, ah, da haben wir ja wieder ordentlich was vor uns. Hm, schräge Scheiß. Tja, aber jetzt ist es aber auch gut für heute, würde ich sagen. 34 Minuten, das wird... Es macht wieder gut, dass die letzte Folge ein bisschen kürzer war. Was es für neue Berichte gibt, was uns jetzt noch erwartet, das erfahrt ihr in der nächsten Folge. Danke fürs Zuschauen, bis zum nächsten Mal.